popping on November 3rd, with the largest crowd in the building's 14-year history convened for the battle. The game would decide the league's automatic playoff representative in Division 1AA. And in a deafening din, the Panthers went deep on the first play from scrimmage, carrying inside the SMSU 10-yard line. The Bears held them to a field goal, though, and later in the first period began a resourceful drive of their own, converting two fourth downs along the way. McConico scored from a yard out, and that stood up for a 7-3 halftime advantage. The third quarter belonged to Northern Iowa. Division 1AA's fourth-rated passer Jay Johnson hitting Richard Welbrock for the go-ahead score. Followed later by a three-pointer from the nation's top field goal kicker, Brian Mitchell. But the Bears answered those 10 points with 10 of their own in the fourth quarter. A Johnson fumble leading to Groat's 40-yard field goal, his second longest of the year. Then, mostly unable to hear the snap count and the reverberating roar of the crowd, SMSU managed to drive it in from 44 yards out, the big play being a third and 17 pass to McConico for a first down. It was 17-13 Bears with just over three minutes to play. Northern Iowa had to have a touchdown to pull it out. And they got it on fourth and goal from the SNS six. The Panthers had won a classic 20-17 and the Bears had to have a home field win. 